G'day guys, Jeremy from Joe's Base Camp here. Welcome to another Base Camp Homies workout. Hope you guys are all doing well out there, staying safe, happy and healthy. Uh, get your parents, get your friends involved uh, via any means necessary if you need to, um, reaching out. So today we've got a good one for you, more about getting that heart rate going, but being nice and fast, nice and explosive with our bodies, okay? But before we get into that, I've got a story for you guys. Uh, it's super short and sweet. My wife last night, she got so upset at my uh, sense of direction, so I packed all my things, got up and right. That's it. <laughs> awesome, guys. So we'll crack. I'll just let that one sink in a little bit for you guys. So with today's workout, we're going to work on a skill uh, jumping mechanics, a vertical jump. So vertical being straight up and down. And we're going to look at how to load up, take off, and land nice and safely, especially when that transfers over into some of your outdoor sports, ball sports. Part B, we're going to work into a circuit. Two rounds through these six movements, 30 seconds of effort with 15 seconds resting in between and you just go in that number order twice through until you're done. Then we'll have a break. I'll explain the challenge, which is a maximum effort downward dog hold. You're just trying to hold in an A position basically with your body. And then once we've completed that, you can record how long you managed to get that hold for. And that's our session over. So before we crack on, we're gonna get nice and warm. Uh, also, sorry, additional equipment. All you need is a backpack. Throw some books in there, throw some clothes in there. Give, give it a little bit of weight, doesn't have to be heavy. Just wanna be able to have something that you can carry with two hands, okay? So I'll leave that off to the side for now. We're going to get into our warm up. <clears throat> Cute music. All right, so going to start the clock. Warm up is as follows on the screen. We're going to perform 20 seconds of each movement two times through. I want you guys to follow me. Any uh, feedback afterwards and questions afterwards, you guys can throw them in there. Cool. All right, high knees on the spot. Just all at your own pace. Trying to get them up towards the hips. Cool. All right, and heel flicks. So pop your hands behind your backside. Try to get your heel to hit your hands. We can go without the hands, that's fine as well. Awesome guys. Getting the heart rate up. So today, all right, and next one into your A skip. So kind of like the high knees, but skipping on the spot. Cool, one arm, opposite arm comes up next to the face like you're running. Cool, so with this one today, guys, full body workout, hitting every muscle group. A uh, little bit of a combination of core. All right, and next one into your bounds. Take a few steps back and jumping forward. Nice soft landing, bend the knees, right, shuffle back. So integrating some core work into some strength work and explosive work, of course. Cool, and then next one, going to lunge, drop down, Drop a knee on the floor, rotate around to both sides. Cool, nice, consistent pace. Just warming up. Cool, get your mum and dad involved as well. Brothers, sisters. But of course, make sure you keep enough space. Don't want to kick anyone. All right, and after that, sorry, we've got our inchworms. So feet flat on the floor. Hands get as close as you can to your feet. And then you're trying to walk your hands all the way out as far as you can overhead. And depending on the room you have, you can either walk your feet back towards your hands or walk your hands back towards the feet. So from here, you can walk the feet to the hands and then keep going forward or walk the hands back to the feet. Cool, after that, we're going to go into our striders. So popping down on one leg, just focus on one side for this round. Reaching up towards the roof, big breath in on the way down. Get a nice little twist, twist. And then once we go back to the start, high knees on the spot. And then on the next round, after this round, we'll go to the other side for the striders. Cool. 
Nice, and into your heel flicks. Hope you guys are all feeling good, feeling fresh. And not stuck washing my hair, bounce around everywhere. Did anyone get that joke at the start? It was a joke, not really a story. All right, and into your A skips. If you want now, you try to get that arm to come across. Tap the elbow to the knee. Tap, 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 tap. Bring the energy. So your knees now coming towards the middle of your body. Awesome. Take a couple steps back. Jump forward, nice soft landing. Good, couple steps back. Jump forward, nice soft landing. Let's do one more. Awesome. Notice where my hands are. I want you guys to take note of that because you'll need that for later. Okay, awesome. Lunging with rotations. Down onto one knee, twist, twist. Yeah, hopefully I don't have to explain that joke. It's a horrible one, I know. And into your inchworms. Reaching out. Walk the toes to the hands. Or walk your hands back towards your feet. So you guys should be nice and warm now, ready to go. Walk the hands back out. And from there, bring the opposite leg that you haven't used out, nice straight arm, and then rotating, reaching up to the sky. Awesome guys, and we'll shake it all out. Roll the shoulders around, cool. Cool, everyone should be nice and warm, ready to go. So I'm just going to explain the first part of the workout and then what you guys will do is just have a practice go so a few sets of effort we'll only have to do three or four reps at a time I'm just keeping this ready for later okay so jumping mechanics what we're after notice the hand position I had uh, after my broad jumps after the bounds hands next to the hips that's where I want you guys to have your hands when you're landing and also your starting point when you're loading up to jump. So hands are next to the hips. From here, I'm gonna bring my arms down and back, going, to, going into a partial squat, okay? And then eyes are gonna stay forward. We're gonna jump up as high as we can, using the arms as a counter movement to reach up as high as you can, okay? If you guys do wanna try to touch something like the roof, aim to touch the roof, aim to touch the top of the doorway if you're a bit shorter, sorry. <clears throat> um, but yeah, as high as you can. And when you land, like I said, hands finishing back down next to uh, your hips with your legs bent nice and soft. So that's being able to take impact, absorb the force. Cool, so you're trying to create as much force going one way and then absorb it when you come back down. Cool, so loading up, we'll do three reps, have a rest, and then we'll do three more, okay? As high as you can every time. Ready, loading up. So hands are down, hands go back, high as you can, stick. Cool, nice, two more of those. Okay, so really explosive. This is helping you guys, so hopefully when it transfers, when, you, uh, when we get back to doing sports outside, ball sports, things like that, you'll be able to jump and change direction and land properly, or hopefully it helps you land properly, okay? So from here, arms go back, high as you can, sticking the landing, cool. One more, loading up. Hands go down, high as you can, stick. Awesome, guys. Cool. Have a short rest, okay? Hopefully everyone found that one not too bad. So that's a vertical jump. And the eyes staying forward will help keep you nice and upright. Sometimes people throw their head up and then you lose. You actually may potentially lose a bit of height. Okay, we want maximum height every time. Okay, let's try one more time. And then we're going to apply this in the circuit. Okay, with the squat jumps. Show you guys that one. All right, bit of a breather, let's go again. Three reps, so it's just short and sharp, but it's just so that you guys get used to the feeling of uh, jumping well, okay? Because I love jumping. All right, so hands by the hips, loading up into your 
half squat, arms go down, high as you can, stick. Cool, awesome guys. And again, ready? Loading up, three, two, one, go. Stick, and now we wanna to try to um, lessen the time between coming down and jumping. Okay, last one. Three, two, one, down, up. Stick, awesome guys. Good stuff. Cool, hair going everywhere. You'd think, you'd think it's windy in here. Awesome guys, okay, let's have a rest. So now we're gonna take that and apply it to our circuit. All right, so we're gonna need the bag. <clears throat> I'll explain, this is part B now guys, just a couple sets to get the blood flowing, get those fast twitch fibers. Fast twitch fibers is that, are those more uh, fast and explosive fibers in your muscles that help you do things suddenly, okay? All right, so we're gonna perform with your bag facing down, feet either side of the bag, grab onto a strap, maybe towards the top, keeping the arms nice and straight. I'm gonna stick my backside back and stick my chest forward. So that way, my back stays nice and flat. If you put a stick on your back, you wouldn't be able to, you would always have something in contact with the stick, okay? So from here, flat back, and you're just going to straighten the legs. Thrust hips forward, all the way down, straighten the legs. All the way down, straighten the legs, cool. So similar to that load up, but now we've got a little bit of weight, okay? The second movement, so after you do 30 seconds of that, we go to 30 seconds of squat jumps, same as what we just did. Squat jumps, you can use the arms for that counter movement, come down to about halfway, you don't have to do a full squat. Come down to about halfway, and jumping up. Jumping up, this one's gonna burn the legs, okay? So the first one, getting everything nice and tight, and then the next one burning the legs. After that, the third one, 30 seconds, we're going to hold a high push-up position. Bonus points, if you can really try to lift your back up towards the roof, okay? For 30 seconds. That'll be the next one, uh, mid fourth exercise, sorry. Then we're gonna go to the floor, lying down, and arrested Superman. So imagine Superman, he's flying, he's taking off, but then what you're going to do, so thumbs are up to the roof at the top, and then you're gonna rotate around, get out of here. Then you're gonna rotate around, so your palms are up to the roof, hands together behind your back, and relax, okay? I'm just trying to squeeze my hips into the floor, palms up to the roof, Rotate around, thumbs up to the roof. Okay, so this one will help you slow, hopefully slow the heart rate down a little bit and working the whole mid back area, okay? Number five, from there, I want you guys to come similar to the warm up, straight back up onto the hands and toes and you're gonna walk your hands in and out. If you need to, you can bend the knees from this top position, walking in and out. Hopefully you guys are practicing some of these as we go through it. So just walking in and out for 30 seconds. And then the last one, we flip over onto our back. It's called a dead bug because it looks like the bug's flailing around on the floor, about to move on. So legs are up 90 degrees, arms are straight up overhead. I'll run through different options when we get there, but basically you're trying to drop one arm and one leg whilst keeping your lower back flat on the floor. Cool. So that's your dead bug. 30 seconds each exercise, two rounds through. I hope you guys are ready to go. All right, so I'll set up the clock. Wipe down. Set up the clock for you guys. If you have your own, you can use that as well. <clears throat> so we've got 12 total sets. Zero, zero, 30 seconds of work. Zero, zero, 15 seconds rest. And I really want you guys to give your best efforts when we get to that second exercise. See how high we can get, all right? Is everyone ready to go? I am ready. All right, our first one, the deadlift. So sticking the backside back, chest reaches out, arms stay straight down. Cool, 30 seconds. Squeezing the hips as you push the floor away with the legs. There. Pushing the floor away, good. Like you're about to jump, but you just don't. You just don't jump. Nice, guys. Tipping over, nice and controlled. Tempo. OK, 
Cool. Awesome. Last one. And down. Awesome. 15 seconds rest. Okay, so hopefully it feels moderate to moderately heavy. You've put enough books, maybe a bag of rice, maybe some clo oh, clothes, sorry, to make it uh, soft around the edges. All right, 30 seconds. Squat jumps. Squat. Jump. Go. 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 That's it. Break it up if you need to. So I'm loading up those arms again, driving up, drive it up as high as you can. Let those legs burn. 10 more seconds. Nice, big efforts. Last one. Oh, got me. All right, have a rest. Shake the legs out. That's burning. That's burning. Next one, high push-up position. Hands are directly under the shoulders. And straight legs squeeze everything. If this is quite tough, you can always do it from your knees like this, but keeping that nice straight line with your body. Bonus points, push the floor away and try to stick your chest over, get your chest out over your hands. Awesome guys, and you're just holding. Good, have a rest. So a bit of strength, a bit of core work. Hitting all over. Ah, now you get to lie down, this is the best part. All right, let's prepare with the arms out overhead, thumbs up, squeeze your legs and hips into the floor, and let's rotate those arms around. So thumbs go, palms go down, rotate, palms up to the roof, hands behind the back. Relax, you're under arrest. Squeeze, elbows up to the roof. Reach the arms out. Come back up overhead. Cool, arms up. Reaching out and around. Bend the arms, relax. Get that stretch in your shoulders, squeeze. Pull up as hard as you can. Cool, and done, awesome. Have a rest, so staying on the floor. How are you guys going so far, so good? So power at the start and then a bit of strength now and core work. Awesome. Let's go into our walkouts. So I'm gonna have a slight knee bend if the back of your legs are feeling really tight, like you can't straighten them. And then I'm gonna reach my hands out as far as I can overhead, similar to the warm up, walking back. If you can keep the legs straight, do so. Okay, if you're a bit more flexible, you can definitely go for it. All at your own pace, guys. The aim is to keep moving though, for the 30 seconds. So you don't wanna stop moving. Keep it up, there it is. Nice, have a rest. All right, last one, dead bugs. So flipping over onto your back. Lower back, try to jam your belly button down towards the floor. All right, legs are up 90 degrees. Opposite arm, opposite leg drops forward. If straightening the leg is too hard, just keep the leg bent and come back in. Cool, and then changing sides each time. If coordinating the arm and leg together is too hard, just keep the legs moving. Keep the arms up towards the roof. Cool, thumbs up, yeah. All right, or if you wanna make it harder, you can leave the arms hanging out overhead. But you try not to let anything move. Cool, there's the buzz. Great work. Back to the start. So we need the bag again. These rest periods are quite short. There we go. All right, round two. So chest forward, hips go back. Push your legs into the floor to squeeze those hips at the top. Cool. And also no shrugging. I'm trying to keep the shoulders down and back. Squeeze. Cool. Squeeze, good stuff. So this will help you pick things up off the floor really well as well without using um, unnecessary effort from your lower back, things like that. You get to use your legs, okay? As you guys start to get older and start to pick up objects that are heavier. All right, here we go, squat jumps. So now we use that weight and then we're gonna make it explosive, explosive. As high as you can or as high as you want but try to keep moving. Use 
use those arms, breathe. I swear that guys get heaps of reps in, 10 seconds. Last one. Oh yes, there we go. Nice. That got the breathing going. And a short rest, so let's get ready for your high plank hold. There it is, knees off the ground. Again, no shrugging. And you're just trying to breathe. Breathe. Five seconds, guys, almost done. Awesome. Have a rest there. Good stuff, lying down on your front now, on your tummies. Superman, he's not coming to anyone's rescue. He's going in the pin, mate. Let's go. Rotate around. I'm sorry, officer. Elbows up. No, I'm not. Take off again. Reaching out, really nice straight arms. Oh no, you're caught again. Shouldn't have lasered that building. Back up overhead. Keep squeezing the hips into the floor and take off again. Oh no, they caught me because I was found guilty of that same building again. Back up. Awesome, there you go. Have a rest team. Does anyone think about how many things superheroes destroy? I do, anyway. All right, staying on your feet, because that costs a lot of money. <laughs> awesome guys, walking in and out. This is warming you up for the challenge, this movement. Reaching as far as you can overhead, coming back, building some strength in the shoulders, and getting a bit of a stretch out of your back and the back of the legs. <laughs> awesome. Last one, I think. Nice. Nice, guys. Good work. Good work. Getting sweaty, very sweaty. Awesome, All right, last one. <clears throat> Squeezing the lower back into the floor. Bend the legs to 90 degrees, arms straight up. Let's drop them down. One leg at a time. Keep trying to pull the other knee up towards your chest, the one that's not going to the floor. Cool, and both legs, only one leg moving at a time. Awesome gang. Let's go, almost there. Nice, there you go. Done. Circuit over. Nice, I'm just gonna wipe my face down. Bit of a rest, bit of a breather. That was really good, how'd you guys find that? How'd you guys find that? Thumbs up underneath if you were happy with that one. So more of a strength and, what's going on here? I don't need this. Stay there. More of a strength and explosive power and then a core focus today. Okay, so now for the challenge, I'm just going to restart that clock. You guys are going to hold a downward dog position for as long as possible. So I'll show you what that looks like. Similar to that walkout. So we're gonna take that plank position, that push-up position that we had at the start, and then from here, you're gonna stick your hips up towards the roof. You can bend the knees a little bit if you need to, but try to keep them as straight as you can. So from here, pushing the heels towards the floor, push your chest towards your legs. Arms are straight, and then you're going to hold for as long as you can. Okay, let's aim for a couple minutes. Let's aim for two minutes. If you can't get there and you fall down, that's fine, it's not the end of the world. You can keep practicing, you can keep going until we're all done, if you want. But just take note of how long you guys managed to do that for. Okay, here we go, here we go. All right, 10 seconds. <clears throat> Excuse me, 10 seconds. So set up in that push-up position. Here we go, two, one, knees off the ground. Let's go, pushing back. 
So if your hamstrings are not very flexible, you can bend the knees a little bit. The hamstrings are the back of the legs. And this is just going to build a little bit of a, an isometric hold for those shoulders. So isometric hold is when the muscle, muscles being used are under tension, but you're not changing, you're not moving, you're not changing position, you're not changing length, but they're constantly working. So that is another way to develop uh, some strength there. So you guys should feel the back of the shoulders going or the front tops of the shoulders. Push the floor away. Try to push your chest towards your legs. And just hold as long as you can. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so... <clears throat> some interesting facts. About myself. More importantly, about the socks. Still wondering if you guys have ever seen me wear the same pair. I don't think so. So I'm just trying to breathe as well, focus on something else. Let's see if you guys can count how many socks I've worn so far. We're starting to struggle. How are we doing? How are you guys going? Good jazz. <laughs> I can't hear you, of course. Oh, So a bit of a mental battle, this one. So trying to stay tough in your head to say, no, no, I can keep going, I can keep going. You can keep going. Nice straight arms, almost there. Or as long as you can, oh dear, there we go. Ah. My right elbow gave way a little bit, so it wanted to bend a lot. Awesome, guys. And that got me quite sweaty. Very nice, if you guys are still going, keep going right to the end for those that are done whew, sorry wipe down sweat everywhere that was an awesome effort leave some feedback questions comments things like that below uh, if you guys do record any of it make sure hashtag basecamp daily also hashtag basecamp homies homies okay spread it to your friends spread it to your schools get everyone moving break up your day cool that was awesome energy guys I'll see you guys, we will see you guys tomorrow. Okay.